Christmas holidays in Mexico start on December 16th with Las Posadas. The word posada means inn or lodging. Las Posadas follows the journey of Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem and their search for lodging and a place to rest. In Mexico and throughout parts of Latin America, Las Posadas can last up to nine nights. Eight times the group stops while Joseph asks for shelter. Eight times he is refused. On the last evenings at the ninth house, Joseph and Mary, as well as the whole group, are admitted to have a joyful celebration. To join in the celebration of the birth of Christ, tonight we invite you to join us from your home, or outside your home if you like, to contemplate the journey of Mary and Joseph from place to place in search of welcome and rest. Though we can't pass through the neighborhood of Taylor Ranch together this year, we hope you take this time to bring song and hope into your home or yard. If you are able, be invited to move from room to room or different parts of your yard as we embody the journey of the holy couple. During this journey, the story of Jesus' birth is retold through scripture readings and music. Our journey stops and knocks at three doors and is refused at each. Finally, after a long journey, the good news of Emmanuel, God with us, is heard and all are welcome to enter and a celebration follows. During this time of pandemic, who are those left searching for welcome and rest? Who are those searching for hope? Let's remember and pray for them. And let us begin Las Posadas now in the traditional way with prayer and scripture. Let us pray. God of light and darkness, in this season of short days and long nights, help us remember that you are always with us, living in hope as we wait for Christ to come again. Stir up the wills of your faithful people and open our ears and hearts to the journey of Mary and Joseph, that, rejoicing in your salvation, we may bring forth the transforming gifts of welcome and hospitality for all. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. The people who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness. From this time onward and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Again from Isaiah. Thunder in the desert, prepare for God's arrival. Make the road straight and smooth, a, a highway fit for our God. Fill in the valleys, level off the hills, smooth out the ruts, clear out the rocks. Then God's bright glory will shine and everyone will see it. Yes, just as God has said. And still from Isaiah. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. We join Mary and Joseph on their journey. Come, let's continue on our way, Mary.
the name of heaven, I beg you for lodging, for she cannot walk, my beloved wife. This is not an inn. Keep going. I cannot open to you. You may be bad people. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to the village of Nazareth to a young girl engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. Her name was Mary. When she entered, Gabriel greeted her. Good evening. You are beautiful with God's beauty, be beautiful inside and out. God be with you. You have nothing to fear, Mary. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. He will be great, be called Son of the Highest. But how? I'm not married. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Highest will hover over you. And did you know your cousin Elizabeth is pregnant, old as she is? Nothing, you see, is impossible with God. Yes, I see it all now. I am the Lord's maid, ready to serve. Let it be with me, just as you say. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. Come, let's continue on our way, Mary. <laughs>
In the name of heaven, I beg you for lodging, for she cannot walk, my beloved wife. This is not an inn. Keep going. I cannot open to you. You may be bad people. Mary didn't waste a minute. She got up and traveled to a town in Judah and the hill country, straight to Zachariah's house, and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby in her room leaped. She was filled with the Holy Spirit and sang out exuberantly. You are so blessed among women, for the baby in your room is also blessed. And why am I so blessed that the mother of the Lord visits me? The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the baby in my room skipped like a lamb for sheer joy. Blessed women who believed God said, believed every word. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. Come, let's continue on our way, Mary. <laughs> In the name of heaven, I beg you for lodging, for she cannot walk, my beloved wife. 
This is not an inn. Keep going. I cannot open to you. You may be bad people. About that time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone had to travel to their own ancestral hometown to be counted. So Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee up to Bethlehem in Judah, David's town, for the census because he came from the family of David. He went with Mary, his future wife, who was pregnant. For Christ is born of Mary, and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch o'er wandering love. O morning stars together proclaim the holy birth. And praises sing to God the King, and peace to all the earth. Come, let's continue on our way, Mary.
My wife is Mary. She's the queen of heaven and is going to be the mother of the divine word. You are Joseph? Your wife is Mary? Uh, enter pilgrims. I did not know you. <laughs> While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the inn. No crib for his bed The little Lord Jesus Lay down his sweet head The stars in the sky Looked down where he lay The little Lord Jesus Asleep on the hay the cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love you, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky, and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to stay Close by me forever and love me, I pray Bless all the dear children in your tender care And feed us for heaven to live with you there Now there were shepherds camping in the neighborhood. They were watching over their sheep at night. Suddenly God's angel stood among them and God's glory blazed. They were terrified. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I, have, I am here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A Savior has just been born in Davidstown. A Savior who is Christ the Lord. This is what you are looking for. A baby wrapped in a blanket lying in a manger. At once the angel was joined by a huge choir of angels singing God's praises. Everyone at home, that's you. Repeat after the angel. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Peace to all people on earth. Peace to all people on earth. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all you nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adorn, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time behold him come, offspring of a virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh the Godhead see, hail incarnate deity, pleased as man with us to dwell, Jesus our Emmanuel. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness. Light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Mild he lays his glory by, born that we no more may die. Born to raise each child of earth, born to give a second birth. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Dear friends, thank you for joining us and sharing this story once again on this uh, unique year. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. 
God of the poor and homeless. You give us hope in sending Jesus, your Son, to be our Savior. This Advent, help us to be grateful for all your gifts to us and give us the courage to share our gifts with the poor of the world. Bless our homes this night, either with food and fiesta or quiet and contemplation, with signs of your gracious presence. May it fill us with your spirit to strengthen and inspire us to your service, held lovingly by your Holy Spirit. We pray now together as Jesus taught. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive your King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let all their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love. Hey!